Hi, folks. Once again, I would say hi, folks, because today we have a video for you. We're going to play some coach bus driving. You know, I never thought I would drive one of these. But these are my favorite things. Here we are at our headquarters. We have this stunning MAN Lions coach. I made $1,526 in my earnings since I made lots of upgrades to it. Anyway, we're going to give this vehicle a drive, so let's go ahead and do so. Now, in order for us to do a job here with this man lion's coach, we're going to drive up in our headlights. Had to go really slow, so we'll put the parking brake on, then we'll get ready to select our job. We are currently in Nuremberg. We want to go to do a triple stop run. We're going to stop in Frankfurt and then we're going to go to Trier today. I will be paid $1,449. So let's take our job. Whoops. So we're going to release a parking brake and then we're going to this bus station I really like the new steering wheel. We're going to pick up right there. We're going to make sure we orient our bus. So we're going to put our parking brake on. Open the door. We'll board our 45 passengers. This view is stunning. We could look out the door and see all the passengers making their way in. Now, we may be knowing that uh, because of I don't see any coach buses running around my area, this is due to COVID-19 and I know the bus driver wants everyone's social distancing even with himself because he doesn't want to get sick because you know we don't want that to happen anyway we're going to load like 23 passengers for our bus as you already know i'm driving the man lions coach this bus is really nice while the passengers are boarding let's test the horn we got 10 more passengers to board. Now 8. And once we finish up, everything will go good. Our horn works. We'll depress parking brake. Close the doors now. Let's drive. Whoops, I crashed. It was my fault. And in case you didn't know, I'm using manual transmission.
And there was another man lion's coach. And why did I paint this bus red, white, and blue? To make it patriotic, of course. Great turning. So we're 246 miles away from our next stop, which is in Trier. I think we're going to get a little top off. We're going to get our fuel now. Only $8. Now we're good to go. Let's drive off. As you can see, I'm shifting manual. Why? Because I like to do this. Some man lines coach buses have manual transmission. Now, anyway. Here we go. We're going on the roller coaster ride. Whoa! That was fun. Why would you cut me off, Blue Seat? I guess we'll pass on the apron, pass that Mercedes Benz of Tigo. Now, you know, they have cruise control on this bus, so... Sorry for the crashes, folks. We're going to go climbing up the hill. We're we'll off the cruise control, and we're going to pull into our next gas station. We'll turn on the park brake, shut off our engine, and then we'll go get fuel. $68. Not bad. And then we'll pull away. And I even skipped the gear, too. Now, you know, this is my first time driving the Amazon Lion Coach. This is one of my favorite buses. The last time I could remember anyone driving a Man Lion's Coach was Best Transport Videos. Used to be Scottish transport and gaming videos. Mm. 
And then many people like uh We'll find the police can stick. We'll just do 55. So we're just gonna over rev this thing because we're doing 55. Whoops, sorry about the crash. Oops. I didn't need to run into something. Then we have Dan. 4462 driving the Man Lions coach in front bus simulator. Because you know, this game nearly shares resemblance with Fern bus. So we're going to. Whoops, sorry. I don't want to crash again. Turn my crashes, folks. My driving may not be the best. So now we put 20 passengers on and we'll remove 16 passengers. Now, more importantly, aside from the world being like as it is nowadays, and anything as it is, I would like to share with you some of my uh, basic stories. Because, you know, I feel like telling one of you guys with my stories. You know, anyway, mine was a, I'm currently enjoying a decent time here at this home. You know, with COVID-19 rearing its ugly head, the protesters getting so dramatic and, you know, the staff trying to uh, make sure I do things right. Anyway, the one thing I like to share with you is one of my favorite things. Because you know we still have COVID-19 nowadays. We have every, you know, we've been here the whole time. We have day program at our home nowadays. And, you know, everything is going to be like, you know, uh, really anticipation. But, you know, sometimes it can be a little stressful at times, if you know what I mean. Sorry, I just get to gear. Anyway, where was I? Okay. Whatever. 
would people do nowadays in this game? Get cut off by a Peugeot 206? If that car was a Peugeot 206, please comment down below in the comments area. Bushmackings, as I remember, drove on line X, ALX on the map, Alheim Lawrencebach. And you know, Omzi nowadays, if you take a shortcut through the grass, they nearly get clipped by another Peugeot. Sorry for the crash, folks. I'm trying to, to get there quickly. Anyway, as I was saying, most I've been writing my letters to Lana, my girlfriend. You know, she likes to see me drive these coaches, especially this MAN Lions coach. This bus is so fast, and it even turns on a dime. And I'm rolling along in 12th gear. Woohoo! I'm enjoying myself. Sorry, I didn't know there was an MA, another MA in Lions coach in front of me. And you know, Jundi says. In case he's holding up the pack. I would try and overtake him. But anyway, I'm just trying to seize an open opportunity to overtake this coach. Because I need to get to a fuel station. And then we'll stop for some gas. So basically, there are two doors on this bus. They open. The luggage bay opens too. And I skipped gears like Jeff Aviano again. And all the other people tried driving this bus, especially Amon. Now, if you know anybody else who drove these buses, please comment down below. Whoops, that Peugeot got me again. Sorry for my crash, folks. I don't want to. have any points deducted from my driving record. Sorry about the abnormal shift, folks, because sometimes I end up shifting backwards and then I over rev the thing. I guess we're... this is here. Sorry about running into that Mercedes Benz. A Tigo.
Sorry about the gear grinding, folks. But sometimes I touch a gear and it grinds on me. I'm going to pull over and see what my destination sign says. So we'll check the camera view. So we went from Nuremberg to Frankfurt. Now we're heading towards Trier. And we're coming up to the bus station now. So we'll turn on our parking brake and we'll unload our 49 passengers. My god, I'm amazed! This bus seats about 49 passengers. I don't know how many more passengers you can fit on this thing. I am speechless. You know, folks, I've been on many coach buses. I've been on a Prevost, and I also been on an MCI. And I've been on a Discovery Charters MCI coach with a Detroit Diesel 6V92. I know these coaches are very luxurious. And I may have to do another run too so I could get to know what I get to know my vehicle more. But we'll first have to wait for all the passengers to on board. We'll check the parking brake and see if it still functions. Yes, right now it's nightfall. Let's see if our uh, high beams work. Yes, it does. Since I may have to do another run. But still the same three stops as before. Now all the passengers have got off. Let's read the view reviews. This guy at five stars says he liked it. This guy says at one star he is boring without TV and movies. This guy at three stars says it's boring without game consoles. So I made a total income of $1,449. I served a total passengers of 65. So we'll say okay. We'll close the doors. We'll select our next run. So we're going to go to uh, Trier to Stuttgart to Munich or Munchen. So let's take a job.
So we're going to... Pick up right here. So we're going to pull up a little more. Whoops, sorry for the crash, folks. Whoops, I overread, folks. So let's uh, move closer. And I overread again, so we're going to stop right here. We're going to pull our parking brake on. Open the doors. 36 passengers are entering. So. You joined me for another run today, folks. And I know. Sometimes not many people can try and get on close to the bus as they could possibly be. But I was trying to make effort by maneuvering the bus into a position where I could easily load the passengers. Once again, let's see how the horn works. It works! Now, I remember we have a, a little wind today, which makes recording quite easily. Now, let's close the doors. And let's go. As you can see, we have a pipeline overhead at one of the bus stations, bus depots. I'll show you a drive to a bus depot. So we'll just stop at the signal. Whoops. Why that Peugeot go in my lane? That was not good. And sorry about going through the red lights because that's my habit. Because I wanted to get these passengers to their destination on time. Why would you send a Mercedes-Benz Atigo into my lane? That is very irresponsible. There's one in the proper lane. Sorry for grinding gear, folks. Sorry, I didn't know what was expected out of me because I ended up crashing and, and I apologize for the accidents, folks. Because I gotta go to driving school. Get ready for all because you're like, oh! Sorry, I had to. Do 
get my way through and know that man why is he bus trying to force his way through and then I end up doing NASCAR So I pardoned this accident. So let's go and get gas. Parking brake on. Turn the engine off. So we'll send off. Anyway, we're going to go past this gas station and see how far we will get on fuel. And it goes super fast. Like, as if America was watching ABC. Something happening on NBC. Mm. I ended up uh, doing a wall check, and then the MAN decides to hit the brakes suddenly. Okay, light signals green. Here we go. Again, sorry for the gear grinding. Now, if you wanted to play a garbage truck video, I need to play a garbage truck video for you. I will do it in the comments area. Please write in the comments area, and then I'll do that. Sorry for that, folks. I think they look like Hondas to me. They don't look like Cujos to me. It was raining a lot. And stop, so we'll turn the wiper blades off. Wipers off. So we're going to pull up right here so I can do a reverse. We're going back to the same out.
so we're going to put the prison break on. We'll load 21 passengers and unload 8. Now the whole point of this game is to drive the coach bus, pick up passengers, and even uh, drop them off at their destinations. You sometimes have to pick up others, like what I'm doing here. So now we're going to... Uh, wait again. Now we'll load more passengers on. Load our passengers on that we're waiting. 16. As you saw in my text, let me check. Today's truck series race was won by Grant Infinger. We drove a Ford. That was my mom's text. And they have one suspect in custody, which means Ben Loman. Residents are asked to remain sheltered in place. Santa Cruz County Sheriff's Reports Office reports an, an active threat involving a shooting. I know it's sad, but we gotta avoid the bad news and make sure the good news is really great. Anyway. Okay, all the passengers are loaded. Let's back this thing out. To first gear. Next stop. Oops, I forgot. Next stop, Munich. Sorry if I scroll down and block the view. And so cool that I made a shortcut. Once again, rain. Total turn on the wipers. Now we're halfway on fuel. What about the crash fault? So I shift here, and as you can see, I've been shifting here. We are 10 miles away from one tenth gear. Currently, we're 120 kilometers away from Munich.
I even skipped gear two. I always like to do that. Now let's go get our fuel. Holy moly, I just put $300 in my tank. Sorry for the gear blinding, folks. And we were going to get off at the, this intersection. Let's go get our fuel again. This should do it, $19. Now we're 60 kilometers from our destination. Now the wind starts to pick up. I got caught in this street light. Hey, why that damn lion's coach hit me? I'm stuck. Sorry folks, I got stuck. But sometimes I may get stuck. Nah, I've done stuck myself. Let's go to our bus station to draw off these passengers. So we'll unload our passengers. You see, the animation is quite identical. I like these passengers. They kind of was these type of passengers. They kind of resemble the realistic people from Omzi. I know that you wanted to see these skisas off passengers, but these passengers are probably etched into the seats. Unlike what I've been seeing in real life. You know, it's quite funny when you see what they look like. And it doesn't matter what they look like. It doesn't matter if they're dressed or anything. They could walk like every time. They sometimes get on and get off the vehicles, depending on what 
what people think of them. But I like how they animate. They walk really good. So we finish our run. So let's read the uh, reviews. This guy with five stars said, Good, we had advanced medicals. This guy with one star says, Automatic fire suppression system would be a nice addition. And this guy with two stars said, Collision warning system would be a nice addition. So I served 57 passengers. My total income is $1,389. So we're going to accept. Let's close the doors. Anyway, we're going in this recording right now. So don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you like what you see. Thank you for watching, folks.